Welcome back. The Friends of Oberlin Village are bringing back the Heritage 5K tomorrow, just in time to celebrate Juneteenth. WRL is a proud community partner. Now, joining us this morning is Jilly Kuhn, part of the board of the directors there of the Friends of Oberlin Village. Jilly, great to have you on the program this morning. Before we talk about the race, let's talk about the history of Oberlin Village. Remind our viewers about the historical significance of this community. Sure. And first, thank you so much for having me on um, to talk about such an important topic, but also to highlight a really wonderful event that's happening here in Raleigh this Juneteenth weekend. Um, Oberlin Village, it is the only known remaining intact settlement founded by a free black in the state of North Carolina. Um, and we can we absolutely cannot allow this area in Raleigh to be destroyed by gentrification. Um, if you are not aware, Oberlin Village is that area that extends all the way from Hillsborough Street up into Glenwood Avenue, and actually even several blocks um, to the west of Oberlin Road. Um, Oberlin's Village is at Oberlin Village's history is is absolutely Raleigh's history. Um, there are many significant contributions that have been made at the state, national, and even international level by residents and their descendants from Oberlin. Yeah. So tell us about the work of the Friends of Oberlin to maintain this legacy and not allow it to be destroyed by gentrification. Right. So the, friend, the, the mission of the Friends of Oberlin Village is really to preserve, um, protect, and honor um, you know, the, the establishment of Oberlin Village. We do that through community awareness, outreach, um, education, and obviously really wonderful events like this, the, the Oberlin Village Heritage 5K, and that that is happening tomorrow. Um, and so we're going to have, you know, a lot of really amazing opportunities for uh, members of our community to learn about our history, maybe even for the first time. And, you know, what did you learn from last year's event that will make this year's event bigger and better? Bigger and better. Um, I think we're, we're really trying to have even greater attendance, right? So um, just seeing the community come out for us last year um, in a really meaningful way um, was so special. And, and this year, actually, we're having um, a, a pop-up marketplace that will feature Black-owned businesses and organizations dedicated to, you know, devoted to bettering our community. So that will be a really special opportunity to say, if you're not a runner, um, you can come out and you can you can support black business in that way yeah. this year. And uh, last year we said it was inaugural, it's the second one they say, what does it mean to you to keep this legacy going, particularly with an event like this? Oh, it's so important. It's um, like I said, it is Raleigh's history. Um, and so this opportunity, it, it's, come out, you know, come come see and, and hear about this history, like I said, perhaps for the first time, um, and, you know, learn about it. it yeah. It's it's really a special piece right in the middle of Raleigh that I don't think many people are aware of. Yeah, it's an absolute treasure uh, geographically. Jill Kuhn, thank you so much for your time and for educating us this morning. Thank you so much. All uh, right, registration begins tomorrow morning, bright and early, 6.30. It will be at the Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary. The race begins at 8 o'clock. Again, WRL is a proud community <laughs> partner.